Uh, now nah, some salt and pepper fell into the paprika. Welcome back to another episode of Woolly TV. And this time we've got the JS Schooner. Now this one was a Mikey Wright design. They worked backwards from the Raging Bull. So the Raging Bull, a lot of the team guys were ordering that and narrowing it up and taking the rail thickness out of the rails. So, so the JS guys worked on a basic refined version of the Raging Bull with a few changes in it so that it's more performance in the Raging Bull, not as thick in the rail. It's got really pinched rails but it's still got all that area up in the template in the nose and it's got a really pulled in fine tail. So it's kind of somewhere, for me looking at it, it kind of sits between the Raging Bull and probably the Forget-Me-Not. It's a lot fuller in the nose than the Forget-Me-Not, not much as much as a step up, um, but still going to surf really well in performance type waves. It's not a groveler. It will sit and work really well in the head height and above range or in really punchy, uh, bowly waves you could probably get away with it. I've gone for a 6.3 at 34.6 so it's a between a litre and um, a litre and a half up from my normal boards. Most of my normal performance boards sit around 6.061 at 33 litres to 34.5 somewhere in there and um, this one will sit right in the middle between say a monster and forget me not for me because I usually don't ride those till 6.6. So this guy is going to be for good quality waves but not like a step up. The, I, as I said, I noticed the rails are really fine. You see from the outline the tail is pulled in quite a lot. Uh, wider nose template so it'll paddle really well. It's got quite a bit of rocker, single to double concave but quite subtle. So I think without further ado, let's get out there and try it. Yoo!
I must have clipped like an inside rail on the bowlie bit. I was trying to slow down and stick my arms in and next thing I know I'm on my back doing the dying cockroach in the lip. But, you know, these things happen. You get some good ones, you get some not so good ones. But... The JS Schooner, Mikey Wright, loves a barrel. Get it some good ones, get some not so good ones. But... We got plenty of waves on this one. I had some great surfs on it. My first surf on it, I didn't film. I was up north and I rode it in the crumbly left around four or five feet. And I was thinking, oh, looking at the tail shape, this one's kind of going to feel a bit like a forget me not or, you know, like Paisel Ghost or something like that. It actually doesn't. It turns on a 20 cent piece and it's a 6 3. So it's quite long for me but I was only riding in good quality waves. We're at this joint that's just quite a heavy barrel for how uh, tall the wave is, quite thick and shallow, and it worked insane. So I went from surfing onshore, um, onshore waves that are crumbly on my backhand, and it was just feeling so free and nice. Then the very next surf was uh, the one we saw in film there, which is the tube, and it just sat in the barrel so nicely and felt unreal. Then the next surf I had on it, it was really bumpy. It was kind of, it was, I was away, but felt like a WA wave or even a small sort of Hawaiian wave. Had a lot of power, a lot of wind, rips, paddling, and it just went unreal. Like it went perfect in that stuff. All the waves I rode it in, obviously overhead, or most of them were overhead, it just felt sick. You can paddle in so early on it because of that thickness up front and the wide template in the nose. But as soon as you jump down on the tail, I can really see when you watch Mikey Wright doing those big drop hammer laybacks, you can see why he's able to do that on this board because that tail shape just holds you in so, so well. So if you're looking for like a board that sits between your performance board or even as a performance board, you could definitely get away with the schooner the way it's shaped. And if you didn't want to have step ups and didn't have the chance to use those step ups, but you just wanted a nice pintail to surf in good quality waves in say a Mentowish trip or you know in that overhead size where your normal everyday board's not coping, this thing does the trick. It's perfect for that. So if you don't want to go, if you're not a big wave Dave and you don't want a whole quiver of six, 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 eight, seven, fours, eight footers and that's not your thing, then this will actually do that job for you. Um, as I said, I, I rode this one, I don't put bigger fins in my pintails. I like to run them quite small. I only rode mediums in this because the, the fins felt so good, I didn't want to muck around with them. And they were just a set of uh, legacy series neutrals in mediums in the future. So, because most of mine are coming through with future boxes in them, if I can have the choice. Um, as you can see, that tail shape just really pulled in and that's what holds you in and that's what allows those type of turns you can't do on an all day, every day board. So thanks to the boys at JS really enjoy the schooner you always when you get those boards that you know are made for good waves you kind of always have good surfs on them because you're in good waves so thanks for the opportunity thanks for watching you guys please like please subscribe plenty of boards coming through this year i will see you soon you